Hello, my name is Well, I'm from Ukraine, and you're watching my video blog about blockchain fundamentals and startups. If you don't know where to start, start from here. Today we will be talking about how to become an ambassador. I know there are a lot of questions around the issue, and I will try to answer all of them. For example, how to find projects, how to apply, how to prepare to the application what qualities you should have to become an ambassador and what activities you will have to fulfill as a, an ambassador. All of this we will be talking today. But first of all, I will tell you who is an ambassador. There are a lot of uh, explanations of the term ambassador, but most of them are formal. An ambassador is representative, representative of something. We are talking about crypto ambassadors. Ambassadors are representatives of crypto projects, for example, and I found the most suitable explanation in Wikipedia. The word is also used informally for people who are known without national appointment to represent certain professions, activities and fields of endeavor such as sales. Nevertheless, it depends on the project itself. Only the project goal and ambassador program goals tells us who they need, who is an ambassador for this project. Uh, the most wanted are developers, crypto enthusiasts, social media influencers, testers, content creators, artists, linguists, uh, community managers, etc. Anyway, these are only the most common professions, the most common roles in ambassador programs, so they can differ from project to project and of course from program to program so what is an ambassador program an ambassador program is standardized process companies create to find recruit manage pay and track brand ambassadors programs differ um, on their goals duration ambassador team structure and tasks an ambassador program uh, can be short or long-lasting, it can be continuous, it can be divided into seasons. A season is a period with strict duration and every season can have its own uh, new attributes, um, features and goal. So it also can be in this way. The goal can concentrate on marketing on uh, content creation, on testing, the goal also can be very different. Anyway, I have gathered all the activities that are the most popular in ambassador programs. I have divided them into these four categories. Social marketing, content creation, community management, system testing and development. I'm not very into system testing and development, so I'll pass this uh, category. I won't tell you the details. Anyway, I can tell you the details in other three. So the social marketing. It's all about promoting the project among uh, social media. Uh, it can be various social media, but most popular is Twitter. So if you are going to be an ambassador, have your own Twitter account. It's creating tweets, it's making retweets, likes, comments to specific tweets. It's creating blog posts, creating memes. Um, and uh, all of this is uh, centralized on promoting the project. Content creation is about creating unique content. It's about articles, uh, arts, uh, digital arts, uh, logos, uh, and um, everything. Everything that can be created, it can have its identity. Ma community management is all about creating communities, managing communities, I mean communication, uh, answering all the questions, uh, uh, creating events uh, around the project. Uh, topics and so on. Also, uh, to community management, I can um, name translating, uh, translating into various languages and uh, sharing information in local languages to local communities. 
the more complex is the task, uh, the better it is fulfilled, the better is the reward. So here, where we will talk about ambassador benefit, there are a lot of uh, reasons why to be an ambassador. For example, for me, it's uh, communication, uh, inside in the information, it's uh, a great experience in content creation and in blockchain. It's a great way to study more about blockchain. It's an easy way to study about blockchain technology and to get involved into the industry. Anyway, I've divided rewards into two uh, categories. First of all, it's monetary rewards. I think a lot of people are starting being an ambassador because of monetary rewards. Uh, first of all, it's uh, tokens or NFTs you get as a reward. Uh, moreover, it's uh, being vest white whitelisted. I'm sorry for uh, the token sale, and of course there is also a kind of reward as USD, but it's uh, the less popular kind of rewards and for the top ambassadors only. So if you are only starting, we will take into account first of all being whitelisted for token sales. It's a monetary reward and opportunity too. But uh, what is a token sale? Um, the tokens are, uh, before being on the market, are distributed among the community. And the one way to distribute it is a token sale. You buy tokens for the low price. And after they are on the market, they can be higher price, but can also not. So it is very important to be sure that the project is really trustworthy. If you are a newbie, I'll tell you only one thing. Tokens and NFTs is kind of cryptocurrencies. Yes, it's not that simple, but it's enough for you to understand the point. And the second category, opportunities. A lot of educational uh, workshops, seminars are held among the community, among the ambassadors. Moreover, inside information, you can ask questions about the information uh, from the founders even of the project. So you can be the first to get the information. But the most important thing for me is new acquaintances and community events. New acquaintances is kind of a power because if you have other people, you can ask um, some advice. In blockchain industry, it's very important. And here we are getting to the real point, how to get involved into ambassador programs. There are three simple steps, or not that simple. Find program, apply, wait, and repeat. Find the program, apply the form, and wait. Waiting is always going nearby all ambassador programs. Anyway, don't wait too long. Repeat. Apply to various programs. Some of them will be successful, others you will never get any reply from. Just cope with useless waiting and go on. The first step is to find the right program. Here is where you can find them. But the most important thing is not to find the program but to study it with every single information you can find online. Be sure that this program has great funds and this program has great support and is trustworthy. Study the team, who are the founders. Be sure that these programs is uh, worth your time. And get ready to application. Prepare your Discord. Twitter account, Telegram account, uh, prepare a few words about who you are and what can you give to the program. Prepare links that prove that you are experienced in things you are talking about. Nevertheless, I want to tell you about Subsquid Ambassador Program. It because it differs from the programs I'm, I'm used to and it's much uh, harder to apply, so it's a great example. So, you do all the steps I've mentioned before. You find this program, you apply the form, you wait for the answer. 
After that, you get into the Discord channel. You take part in community discussions. It's very important here to be active. Secondly, Gleam Contest. I will talk about it later. And third thing, you create content. You post in appropriate Discord server tabs and show your content. Yes, you are only an applicant. You are not ambassador, but you already create content and uh, do some activities. It's because you should show that you worth it. So, the Gleam contest. Here is what it says on the official website of Gleam. Easily set up and run giveaway contests, sweepstakes that drive real user engagement. The most important thing is that Gleam uh, checks the activities automatically, so you already know if it is accepted or not. Here is how the uh, Subsquid community contest looks like. There are invitations to friends, creating informative media, uh, creating memes, uh, tweeting, uh, retweeting, uh, signing up for official uh, sources, uh, visiting home pages, viewing videos, etc. Moreover, you can win NFTs for taking part in this contest, so I will give you the link below. Here it is. Everything you should know about how to become an ambassador. But I'll finish with a few more words. First of all, I want to say that this video has only educational purposes. It's not call to action. Being an ambassador is not about earning money. It's not a stable job that you can have. But it's a great opportunity to get involved into blockchain industry, to get uh, to be educated about blockchain industry and a great start into this business. As for the Subsquid, I find it trustworthy project, but study it as I've mentioned before and make your point of view. Take part in the contest. I will give you the link below. Here are all the resources I've used. Uh, the links to the resources will be in the link I will give you below. Thank you for watching till the end, for being with me. Uh, subscribe to my channel, I will have more videos like this. Uh, push bell icon and comment below, the feedback is appreciated. Thank you, have a nice day.